Ciao, I am Emma and she is F and this is our artificial intelligent ride, Jarvis. We met in Milano during our studies, moved to Germany for work and married back in Italy in 2018. We now live in Munich and, after 2020 scrapped all our travel plans, we decided to focus on our courtyard and show you around Europe. In our last videos, we drove Jarvis on the world-famous German romantic road and walked through some perfectly preserved medieval towns. Today, we focus on Jarvis. Our AI is now 1 year and 20,000 kilometers old. And it's time to tell you the five things that we love about Jarvis. Hi Panda ones, we are here today at uh, Ammersee, a very beautiful lake just uh, 20 minutes from our home in Munich and we drove with our Tesla here today to celebrate this one year of being in a family and to celebrate the occasion we want to share with you the five best features of our Tesla Model 3 according to us. So let's start from feature number one. The number one thing we love the most is acceleration and it's actually the only reason to get the performance version of the Model 3. The Model 3 comes in three models, the standard, the long range and the performance. The difference between the long range and the performance is just that the performance is much faster when starting from 0 to 100. It's really the only reason to get the performance version and it's completely superfluous but totally stunning. 3, 2, 1 <laughs> This never gets old second favorite thing about Jarvis is how easy to use it is. The one pedal drive is so comfortable to use, especially when driving uh, in the city, in the city center. You never get to use the brake, it's super easy, super fun, it's just one treat and it is sensible but once you get used to it, it's super uh, comfortable to drive. Also Jarvis has, has driver profiles so you can actually save your uh, driving position for the seats and the mirrors. Every time you drive your car, you can select your own profile or actually it selects uh, your profile from your phone. Uh, so it's already ready to go. The perfect position of like the mirrors and the seat and it's so comfortable, so easy to use. You don't have to reset everything every time. It just changes in a bit. Everything is the space that we have in this car. I can fit completely inside the trunk of this car with uh, rear seats down, 
so it's perfectly fit for camping and there are there's a lot of space for luggages here and it's not over come So even in the rear seats, there is a lot of headroom even for tall people like me. And the rear bench is pretty comfortable. And it's not over yet. Because with the app for inside with the touchscreen, you can open the trunk. And here there is more space for your luggages. At least and two trolleys. <laughs> and you can even sit here in the front and enjoy a glass of milk watching the sunset on the Ammersee. The fourth great feature of this car is its tech and specifically two things. The first one is the autopilot technology. So it's this has already been discussed a lot about Teslas. These cars can drive themselves basically, even if legally you still need to pay attention and to keep your hands on the wheel. And it's not only a rule, there are still situations in which the car is not safe enough to let it drive autonomously or completely autonomously but 99% of the time especially on the highway but even in the city and even when there are roadblocks or uh, any kind of roadworks the car still managed to drive safely and uh, comfortably through it it's really an help for uh, long trips and for relaxing a little bit more while still paying attention on force and keeping your hands on the steering wheel always It's super easy. It takes a lot of the stress of driving on the freeway or highway out of it. It allows the driver to not always be 100% focused on the driving but uh, cut some slack, especially on the long run. So in long travels, it's really nice. And see, it can turn the car. So every 20-30 seconds, if you don't do anything with the steering wheel or you don't apply any force to it, you will get the, the displayed advice to get back with your hands on the wheel. So safety first and definitely pay attention to what the car is doing. Of course, while on autopilot, you can set your speed in different ways. So one way is to use the right wheel on the steering wheel, so this little selector. You can turn it down and it slow the car. Another way to change the speed is to tap this and the car automatically set the speed, the speed limit that is shown, which is also quite handy. From the last software update, um, these graphics are showing much more stuff so you now see the little cones for the street works and uh, you see traffic lights which is not the case here because we are on the autobahn and you can even see street signs people bicycle it's pretty accurate actually and uh, it's basically what the car is seeing to drive the autopilot is using the cameras around the car 
and the short range radar there is no long range radar it's only optical um, optical recognition with the machine learning algorithm of Tesla it's a pretty cool deck the second great, great thing in the car is its infotainment and we will talk more maybe in other videos about the infotainment but one great feature is the automatic update feature and what this car does is that it's connected to the internet and regularly Tesla will release some online updates for the car and add new features to it or improve features that are that the car already has so actually um, we want to show you the installation of our current update because we have one update to install so this is the software update screen and you can either install now but you cannot use the car until the installation is finished which takes approximately 25 minutes or you can schedule it and we scheduled it for the 2 a.m. so it will take place overnight is the noise of the car so of course electric cars are commonly silent because there is no engine that makes noise like in gas cars and our Tesla Model 3 is a dream to drive out of our garage because it makes absolutely no noise and also on the road the only thing you will hear are the tires this can also be a problem though because you have to drive very carefully and mind the other people on the road especially those that may not hear you and this is definitely a disadvantage Give this video a thumbs up, make sure to subscribe to be notified when we will release the next video, the 5 things we don't like about our Tesla Model 3. Peace!